You took it, you threw me on the ground. Man. What are you doing? And outside of the hashtags that we chose to start our march here was the fact that on August 4th, a brother Musa, a disabled brother, was beaten right here by 14 San Francisco Police Department officers. The man had crutches, prosthetic limbs, and he was beaten right here. So I'm gonna have, uh, I'm gonna uh, welcome Leroy up to the mic to just say a few words about that. How's everybody doing? Yeah, like, like, um, homeboy was seen right here outside, Musa, a black disabled man, was beaten by cops because he had a crutch. That's it. Because he had a crutch. And not only that, but the media jumped in and said that he was a threat. A threat. So I did a poem, because I'm a poet, about what's going on with a lot of black disabled men in San Francisco and around the world. Especially poor, poor black disabled men. You know, we got Black Lives Matter, we got all these, um, you know, so-called movements. But really, when you're poor and disabled, in prison of color, you don't get the bling bling of activists flying here to protest. So um, I did a poem, and I'll read the poem, now I'll, I'll, I'll hand it over. Black man with crutches, black man in a wheelchair, black man with a limp, you know that? Thank you. All our threats must protect others from him. I will tip him over, beat him down, make him answer questions. No wonder black disabled men's heads are down. Can't make eye, -eye contact, cause you will get beat down. Calling 911 everywhere I go, from the park to downtown. Black man with crutches, black man in a wheelchair, black man with a limp, all are threats. I stutter like in the tail to play down my intelligence, to make others feel comfortable, to make them see I'm not able. It's called survival, cause my rival is the popo. Always seeing me as a threat, so I play up being disabled. Pity and fear create a horrible mix. Wants to lock me up, and me they want to fix. 72 hour hold, the streets are so cold. Even in the hood, I don't have a home. Black people hiding their wallets and cell phones. Disability and poverty, now I'm alone. Black man with crutches. Black man in a wheelchair. Black man with a limp, all are threats. No name, newspaper report the same. I'm the one to blame. 14 cops and me with one leg. Two cops and me on my three-wheel bike. Black, disabled, and poor. Three strikes. Can't get a 99 cent hamburger. Owners tell me to take a hike. Calls the po-po. Leads to stop and frisk. Always seen as a risk. One place I can fit is through the pipeline. This is not monopoly, but it seems like I can't pass go. 
in up doing time get the fire buying up property see in I policy in every city can't go inside it costs to take a piss black man with crutches black man in a wheelchair black man with a limp all are threats where's handyman where's I could live in living color teaming up with me the black cripple to flip it and pump our chest and say hell yeah we are threats yeah. And I, I, want, I want to say that, um, yeah, you know, poor people, especially poor people, if people, if disabled people of color, never get the bling bling of activism and, uh, and, uh, and uh, um, the, the bling bling media. But, you know, it, it's strange because if you look at the data, you know, I, I, I read that 70% of all police brutality cases are against black disabled men and black disabled people. So, you know, you have to really question yourself what are the movement is doing where they don't include black and brown poor people with disabilities. And not only include them, but have them leave the movement, they should be on the news, not on um, the leaders with PhDs. Thank you.